Hi, welcome to our next episode of Short Talks on AI, in which we will uh, discuss Comperface. Um, just, just, just to recap, uh, in our last episode um, of our video blog on Comperface, we spoke about main features of Comperface and some use cases. Uh, today, we're going to go into uh, more technical details discussing Comperface. Um, so again, I've got um, our Exadel AI practice head with me, uh, Sergey Pospilov. Hi, everybody. Hi, Sergey. Uh, so, Sergey, let, let's start our short uh, Q&A. Um, and um, could, could you tell us a little bit more about how Comperface works, actually? Yeah, so basically, Comperface uh, has a UI and API servers. So when you start working with Comperface, firstly, you can uh, create uh, some services, face recognition services. And uh, this is where you need, uh, where you can use UI. And for these purposes, we have UI admin server, and it saves everything in the database. Uh, when you finish uh, setting up your environment, uh, you can use API keys to send requests to API servers. Uh, API servers uses the saved information to uh, actually do the face recognition and uh, for classifying faces. And we also have deep learning servers, uh, servers to run in neural networks that actually calculates the embeddings of the face. And on top of all of this, we have balancers that actually send the all of the requests to the appropriate servers. And uh, you can use any balancer as you want, but in our default configuration, we use the Nginx server. OK, great. Um, so, Sergey, um, imagine that I've got my own product and I would like to integrate uh, Comperface into it. So how can I do that? So basically here is like a standard uh, face recognition project and uh, as every every face recognition project probably everything starts from some video caption hardware uh, then you like when you capture the video you need to split it up into the frames and then send it to Comperface using the REST API. So uh, basically it can be not the videos it can be like images of course but uh, this is like the way of integrating with Comperface Face, you send the images uh, to Comperface via REST API, and when uh, Comperface returns some uh, like response, uh, you'll do yeah, like your business logic. Okay, great. Uh, so I've got another question. So, um, what technologies did you use to to actually build Comperface? Uh, as I mentioned before, we have different servers and we use uh, Python and Java on them. And for machine learning libraries, we chose like uh, MXNet and TensorFlow uh, for Python and uh, deep learning for Java for Java servers. Uh, for UI, we use Angular and NGRX. We store everything in PostgreSQL. And uh, yeah, we run everything in Docker. All right. Okay. Cool. So, so, my, so my last question, kind of following on from from what you've just said. So, so, what face recognition algorithms are used in in Comperface? So we started from FaceNet. Uh, this is like very popular uh, face recognition algorithm and uh, face recognition open source library. And uh, the main idea is we calculate embeddings and then cluster, uh, classify them uh, using uh, Euclidean distance. And we use like also very popular multitask cascaded convolutional neural network for face detection. And uh, then we decided to look even further further and to take some state of the art uh, algorithms and we uh, we found uh, inside face library which is very great and uh, it uses retina face for face detection and uh, subcenter arc face for face recognition so basically you can choose between like very popular face recognition algorithm and some of state of the art face recognition algorithms okay great fantastic thank you very much for for, for that sergey uh, so uh, now, if, if you'd like to learn more about Comperface or, or AI practices, go to axadel.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, well, thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for the next episode of our Short Talks on AI. Thank you, Sergey. Thank you.